Hey, Pimp C, man, I miss you, man. Hey, Pimp C, it's finally hitting me that you gone, bro. Like, I, I didn't get chance to, to, re, to have remorse or, or sadness when Pimp C died because I was on my way going to Iraq. I was in the military, all that shit, bro. When Pimp C, I was in the military when he released one of the most realest audios in the world, my nigga, and it wasn't no rap song. It was when he was incarcerated where he said, I ain't gonna make it against Atlanta. I'm just gonna talk about hip hop. What he said about hip hop today, cause he said he ain't really talking about Atlanta. He only used Atlanta cause Atlanta at that time became the new hip hop. Let's just keep it real. It became what New York was to hip hop. So I'm not gonna, I'll let Pimp C use Atlanta. I love Atlanta, I love Georgia. I'm not gonna, I'm talking about hip hop as a whole, bruh. Pimp C, you was right about everything. You done laid the tracks, the plan, the systematic changes that was gonna happen in hip hop. These niggas is hoes, man. Nigga, pants more tighter than your girl trying to get that fat booty up in there, bruh. Nigga, look weird, bruh. Everything in hip hop changed. The, the, the way they act, every nigga is a goddamn celebrity now. You, you can't talk to none of these niggas with them out, with them acting like they Jay Z or some shit. Every nigga you see in hip hop today, it is the influence of what he said was gonna happen. These niggas is bought and paid, bought and sold. Jay Prince already said it ain't no moral ethics, ain't no principles. So look at the shit you got now. Look at what you got. Pimp C ain't lied about it. Pimp C was way too much for the game. The game had to contain him and control him. He was coming out of prison. He came out, he ain't even been out for long. And y'all want me to believe he just slipped and passed away like that. Nah, my nigga. Y'all got rid of Pimp C. The game missing niggas like Pimp C right now. Pimp C, we need you right now. I mean, these whole ass niggas we, we looked up to. You found out the charade they gave us, man. It's just all fake shit, man. Nothing but charade they gave us. Pimp C. Pimp C was right, man. I'm looking at rap niggas today being friends with certain people they never said they'll be friends with. I guess we got to love the kumbaya, but it's a fake kumbaya. Niggas all backdooring to each other. Pimp C Ben brought that up. The only thing you're going to get out of all them niggas hanging with you is niggas putting you in a situation to be God. Big facts. He said all that. The Pooh Shiesty situations. Even Kodak Black falling out of friends with Jack Boy. The 6 9 situations. We're going to make a rap nigga be a whole product that we support. He said that. Not only that, Pimp C said it's going to take one nigga to break in the game of making snitching acceptable. Now watch all the real niggas give love to that situation. Right? Look at the Alpo situation. Niggas don't say nothing of the Alpo. Niggas, niggas all busy attacking bloggers who saying something about Alpo right now. Am I lying, nigga? Niggas, the, these big bloggers is out here attacking any bloggers who said something negative about Alpo. That shit's so funny, dog. Niggas is out here fake beefing it with people keeping the code real. Niggas out here who ain't breaking the codes and doing the fuckboy activities. That's the one they mad at. Pimp C is right. He said everything gonna get reversed around and sane is gonna be the new normal in hip hop. He said one day you're gonna look at hip hop and nothing is gonna be the way it is. You're gonna be Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. I swear to God he ripped that shit, bruh. Look at what you see in hip hop today. Niggas and even bloggers in hip hop who do it the right way, who stick to the code. I gotta watch lame ass bloggers like End of si uh, End of Sentence, um, Trap Galore, Trap Geek, Lime Report. All these lame ass niggas that don't know nothing about the culture, but because you fuck boys, done gave them a green light. These rappers rather go to a culture vulture who knows nothing about them, don't know anything about nobody black, nothing like that. And these rappers, these hardcore street niggas will give passes to them, give them exclusive interviews, suck up to these so-called oppressors that they claim in their rap songs they don't like them. I don't fuck with a cracker, man. I don't fuck. All right, let that nigga have a camera in his hand, and then a nigga sit down on the couch. Niggas get the crime. Niggas revealing everything he done been through like this nigga's a psychiatrist up in his hole. Am I lying? Am I lying? But niggas that don't push the culture the right way and do what you got to do, ain't no more points for that. The points are eradicated, bro. It don't exist no more, bro. The fuck shit is what's respected in hip-hop now. And that's what Pimp C was saying. He was letting you niggas know the only entertainment door is going to be kicked in open is the fuck boys. They, ran, they run hip-hop right now. Jay-Z got a whole rap that's running Rock Nation. 
She done brought down empires in real life. Not that I'm supposed to care, but ain't Jay-Z got whole tracks and songs going against the grain of that? So when Jay-Z is replaying some of these songs or I hear it on the radio to niggas like Style P and them, is it fair I just say, can we turn that bullshit off? Because they say they didn't, they didn't mean to say that back then. Is it fair I turn that off? I'm just asking. I know how to separate the art from the fuck, boy. But I'm just asking because you niggas now more mad at the people who's keeping y'all codes that y'all brought up into this community. Pimp C is out the way. He told us now niggas mixing matches is going to be completely different. You allow the fuck boys to be in control of you. You niggas done sign y'all contracts away. The people who don't even look at you as an artist, look at your work as any type of realness or anything like that. They done got you out the game. Pimp C have said the radio stations don't even play the real ones no more. It's going to come to the point that the, the radio station is going to turn into the microwave. And he was right. Because now a fucking company can have a relationship with your record company or with you, the artist. Y'all can have a mutual respect. So they're going to disregard an artist like me or any other real artist and listen to your hot garbage. And what's going to make the masses like your hot garbage, just play that garbage music 10 times a day, 20 times a day. 50 times a day. Now times that by 300, not regular radio stations, but big radio stations around the world or, or 2,000 radio stations around the world playing your, each playing your song 50 times or more a day. So at one day you're going to think the music is trash and then the next minute you singing that shit because you're going to relate to a music that was around your life no, no matter what situation that happened. Pimp C broke all this already. Pimp C also told the truth about Bun B and you niggas don't like talking about it. Bum B ain't this shit for Pimp C, and I mean that. Niggas can get mad at me, but real Texas niggas know I'm telling the truth. In fact, when Pimp C died, him and Bum B relationship wasn't cool. When he went to jail, they wasn't cool, and when he got out, it was not what, the, what it was supposed to be. Niggas can get mad at me. Y'all know the truth. Y'all heard the stories. Shout out to Pimp C's girl who already dished it out and said some of it. Shout out to everybody out there. But niggas gonna dance around that shit. Niggas ain't friends no more. Niggas ain't cool no more. Niggas see what they can use you for. And Pimp C broke it down. The rap game is a generic shit now. It's a off the brand shit, bruh. It's some shit I go to pay less and get a two for one, bruh. Two for one, I get two fuck nigga rappers anytime, bruh. It's easy. It's a fake game. The whole industry ain't what it's supposed to be. When I sit back, we lost a real one, bruh. Lost a real one. I'ma keep saying that to snap in your head, bruh. You niggas got to take hip-hop back is what I'm saying. Take hip-hop back. Y'all done gave that hole away. It ain't what it's supposed to be, man. This shit ain't hip-hop, bruh. Anybody, any mama can get into this. And I don't care if you white, black, or what. That ain't what I'm talking about. I ain't talking about the race. I'm talking about the culture and shit, bruh. What hip-hop was. Beastie Boys is hip-hop, so you can't give me I'm talking about this community. Nah. In fact, if you really want to know the truth, I'm talking to niggas. Because niggas seem to be the ones doing all the chicken boom and jabroni shit out here. Whole lot of jabroni shit out here, bruh. Hit that fucking like button for me right quick. Hit that like button. Because when I see Pimp C... Rocking out and share this video too, bruh. Because when I see Pimp C, I see a king amongst a lot of whole ass niggas in this rap game. I don't see realness no more in rap. I see niggas trying to market at the next view. I mean, we supposed to get views out of here. I understand that. But don't compromise your morals, your ethics, and your fucking goddamn living soul. You have a soul, my nigga. You niggas will compromise your soul for Cash App, PayPal, YouTube, anything. And it's wild shit, bruh. You niggas don't even get flowers to Pimp C no more. If a rapper dies past six months to a year, they're not even remembered anymore. That's big facts. Where's my real Texas niggas out there, man? Throw it up for that. Throw your C's up for Pimp C right quick, man. Throw your C's up, man. Because what Chad told y'all out here, whoo, that's prophecies. We call everybody else a goddamn prophet. How the fuck he wasn't a prophet, huh? How the fuck Pimp C was a pro? There should be a movie about that famous audio he talked about. It says seventeen five. You a goddamn lie. He told us about Jeezy before BMF and them started coming out of prison and Blue Da Vinci exposed him. We been heard from Pimp C that what Jeezy was and this and I ain't gonna get into that. But come on, gang. Come on, man. Chad done let y'all know what the play was. You all niggas see the play. You know what the play is. You see that safety blitz coming from the corner. Why you don't protect your quarterback's blind side? And hip-hop is the quarterback. You left that blind side wide open for any linebacker that's a coach or Bosa to hit that hole. Now look how you niggas behave up in this piece now. Nah, bruh. 
You niggas need to do it the right way, man. Give love to that King Pimp C, man. I will. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. King, King, look, King Pimp C, your name will never go in vain, bro. I, I, I'll rep it the right way. Rest in peace to Chad, man. Pimp C the King. Legends are never forgotten, and I think you niggas forgot that.